Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I'm going to bring you a quick bonus tip today. I hope it's quick. Um, working on this uh, situation here, Joe asked on one of the chief architect groups on Facebook how to get these louvers up here like so. Um, I've been here at the office for about five minutes this morning, and I'm going to just keep this running so that you see how much time I'm actually using on this. Um, I've thought of, I've tried to think of several ways of doing this, and I think um, one one thought I had was maybe try louvered windows. I could drop those into a um, railing situation. Um, see if that would work. I haven't tried out a whole lot of things. I've just set up, I've spent the last uh, three minutes setting up um, some panels in my library. So what I did was I found uh, what's called the uh, breadboard plank shutter. This is in the X14 library. Um, I'm going to I, I sized them, let's go like this, I sized them, uh, I, assuming based on that picture, uh, 30 inches tall and let's say 42 inches wide. Um, I'm looking at this picture also, let's pull this back over here, I notice there are situations where I have one panel, there are situations where I have two panels, and three panels. So I want all three options. For that. Um, so what I did was I dropped in this breadboard um, breadboard shutter, sized it, and then I selected one panel, two panels, and three panels, and with each I created a symbol with that uh, convert selected to symbol down here in your edit toolbar. Mine's at the bottom of my screen. And created these symbols here, millwork, uh, symbols one panel, two panels, and three panels. Let's see how we can do this. I did set up a quick um, model showing two levels with decks and balconies here. Um, you know, if you want really specific panels there, um, you may have to create your own symbol, but I'm just doing this for uh, speed's sake. I'm going to select these railings and I'm going to open them. To me, it looks like these are approximately 8-inch um, posts, so I'm going to make my wall 8 inches. I'm going to go to my nulls and balusters, make those 8 inches. I'm going to go to my rail style and post to beam, like so. And I'm going to make my rails, the beam, let's say 8. And to me, that looks like maybe uh, 6 tall. And I'm going to uh, da, 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 go to the rail style and go panels instead of balusters. Um, let's say this is height uh, 9 foot ceiling minus 6 inches, so 8 foot 6. And I'm going to set my rails here and raise bottom rail. Um, uh, let's see. So, what I'm trying to think is, <clears throat> this line is 9 feet. The bottom of that beam is 9 foot 6. I want this panel to be 30 inches tall. Uh, so that's 8, 6. I'm just thinking out loud. And so, uh, this is another 2.5 feet. So that is nine six feet o oh, inches. Uh, so I'm going to raise the bottom rail seventy two inches, and I'm going to do a quick view here. Grab one of my two panels and drop that in like so. I could drop in my three panels. I could drop in one panel. Okay, so one panel is interesting. It does um, three panels, goes like that, two panels, one panels. 
I love X14 because I can just grab this and drop it in there. Um, if we had a short, let's say we set up a short uh, wall version here, we could do we could do our one panel here, like so. I've been recording for five and a half minutes. I spent five minutes before that uh, setting up the panels and the um, symbols. Um, if you want it specifically looking like the louvers you've got there, we'd have to set up a actual um, symbol, uh, but I don't think that would take too awful long e either. All right. Hope this is helpful. Uh, hope you learned something new. If you click like and subscribe uh, and hit the notification bell, you'll get notified each time I drop a video. Have a great day. Take care.